for it, uh, I was dating someone. I didn't want to be right. Is the most inspired by somebody. I haven't, I haven't named the model, but there is somebody special behind that piece. Okay. The one in the middle, in case you from, can't tell. From your video, music video. One is still from my music video. And it's actually the most the most skin showing single still you'll find in the video. I had a hand. Yes. So this piece, I mean, it's a still from my music video. It's a still that I actually imagined for years. I told myself, it was hers and I wanted to be sexy, tasteful, fun, innocent. Innocence, you know. Because you play off of like a high school boy and it's just that's not aware of his best friend's crushing on him. It was really fun. I really, really loved this particular piece, how it turned out. And it's a really funny story. You wouldn't expect it, but the people who have been bidding the most, they're not openly gay men. They're not women. Out of these three paintings that you're asking me about, all three currently, the highest bidders, are all closet men. Which countries? We've had bids from UK, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, and a fourth country. I can't remember off the top of my head. And it's, it's funny. Yes. As Jupiter Delaba is asking me, at an online auction, I opened up starting on my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and just said, you know what? We're helping out Love Yourself Angle for the benefit of this HIV awareness clinic in Ortigas. So, uh, starting out one best and it was really fun because that got people excited and it quickly jumped from one best up to 1000 to 5k to 10k to 20k to 30k now and we still have five days to go for the auctioning the official auctioning is on july 16th we're excited uh, i think we might hit 100,000 pesos in total wow we're congratulations we're gonna make sure at least 10 percent goes entirely to anglo and afterwards we'll see because they need it uh you know it's out of i believe uh the entire world we only have four countries where the numbers with hiv are actually worsening and the philippines happens to be one of them and Ortigas has actually become like, one, the new gay epicenter, I think, of the Philippines. I know you're already laughing at me, but we have Ben Manila, the new bed is opening. We're gonna have this HIV clinic. Yes. Little bars sprouting around here and there. So Ortigas is kind of like the place we planted our flag. <laughs> Ours. So look out. So from your painting to your album, were you able to write some songs for your album? Was I able to write songs while painting? Yeah, from the painting to your album, let's talk about your album this time. Were you able to write some songs for your new album, for your upcoming album? Based on paintings? Or no, 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 no. Just so it was just a segue. We talked about painting earlier, let's talk about your album now. So were you able to write some new songs for your upcoming album? Right now, I have two songs that are already been done and produced. Okay, so there's two songs basically almost ready already for YouTube. They just need to have music videos. We have songs that have yet to have, yet to be the finest. Okay. Yet to be finished. Five songs in total. And I'm excited. I mean, we're going for something fun. Sexy, yeah. But. As I say a lot, something that doesn't